Hi there, friends. My name is Smarty the Alpaca. I'm a fluffy, curious creature who absolutely adores learning new things and sharing what I know with all of you. Guess what we're unraveling today? It's something we all experience but might not understand fully. Yes, it's the changing seasons. We'll dive into the magical world of sunny summers, colorful autumns, frosty winters, and blossoming springs. Are you ready to find out why we have different seasons? Buckle up, because we are going on a knowledge adventure. Did you know our Earth is like a giant spinning top? But unlike a top, it doesn't spin straight up and down. It's a bit tilted. Now, imagine this. You're spinning a top, but instead of it spinning straight, it leans to one side. That's our Earth. It's not just spinning around like a dizzy dancer, it's also doing a little side lean. And it's this lean or tilt that gives us our seasons. Think about it like this. When part of Earth leans towards the sun, it gets more sunshine and warms up. This is when we enjoy summer. We get longer days, warmer weather, and more time for ice creams and water fights. But when our Earth leans away from the sun, that part gets less sunshine and cools down. This is when we have winter. Days become shorter, weather gets colder, and we get to build snowmen and have snowball fights. And what about spring and autumn, you ask? Well, these are the in-between times. When Earth isn't leaning towards or away from the sun, but is somewhere in the middle. So it's all thanks to our planet's tilt that we get to experience different seasons. If Earth was straight up and down, every day would be the same. And that would be pretty boring, wouldn't it? So, remember how I said our Earth is like a spinning top? Well, it's also like a big round sunbather that loves to bask in the sun's warm rays. Scene script. Have you ever wondered why it's hot in the summer and cold in the winter? It's all because of our Earth's tilt. Now, let's imagine Earth as a spinning top. When it spins, one part leans towards the sun and the other part leans away. The part leaning towards the sun is like a friend getting a big, warm hug. That's our summer. The part leaning away is like a friend standing a little further from the hug. That's our winter. In the summer, Earth is tilted towards the sun, like a sunflower turning its face to catch every bit of sunlight. This part of Earth gets more direct sunlight and warmth. It's like when you stand right in front of the fireplace, you feel warmer, right? That's exactly how Earth feels during the summer. Now, imagine stepping away from the fireplace. You'd feel cooler, wouldn't you? That's what happens in the winter. During winter, the part of Earth we're on is tilted away from the sun, so it gets less direct sunlight and feels colder. It's like Earth is stepping away from the fireplace and saying, brr, it's chilly. But don't worry, Earth won't stay away from the sun for too long. It loves the warm hugs too much. And that's why after every chilly winter, we get a sunny summer. So, the next time you're enjoying a snowball fight in winter or swimming in the summer, remember, it's all thanks to the Earth's big tilt. Now you know why we have different seasons. The big tilt gives us sunny summers when we're leaning towards the sun and chilly winters when we're leaning away. Now it's a time for a surprise quiz. Now that we've learned about the seasons, let's see if you are paying attention. Ready? Here we go. Question one, what causes the different seasons? Pause for a moment. Yes, that's right. It's our Earth's big tilt. Now on to question two. What happens when the Earth is tilted towards the sun? Give it a thought. Absolutely correct. We get to enjoy sunny summers. And finally, question three. And what about when the Earth is tilted away from the sun? Hmm. Got it? Yes, indeed. That's when we experience chilly winters. Great job, friends. But remember, there's always more to learn and explore. Until next time, this is Smarty the Alpaca, signing off. Keep your curiosity alive.